Kate got crown over Camilla's health faced worst as forced to pull out of planned Cheltenham trip. Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, has sparked health concerns after pulling out of a planned visit. Camilla will no longer head to the ongoing Cheltenham festival today. The Duchess of Cornwall, who is a keen fan of horse racing, was due to present the trophy to the winners of the Queen Mother Champion Chase. It is understood the Duchess is trying to pace herself after healing from a bout of COVID-19 she contracted last month. Reporting Camilla's decision to cancel her attendance from the beloved horse racing festival, the royal correspondent, Richard Palmer, wrote on Twitter, The Duchess of Cornwall had been due to attend the Cheltenham Festival today but she has pulled out. It's understood she is trying to pace herself as she recovers from the bout of COVID-19 she had last month. She had looked as if she was struggling at an engagement yesterday. On Tuesday, the Duchess accompanied her husband Prince Charles to the Irish Cultural Centre in Hammersmith, West London. The royal visit marked the centre's 25th anniversary and saw Charles and Camilla being involved in a few cheerful activities. Joining a band playing Irish music, the couple were shown how to play the traditional boron drum. Prince Charles was also given a crash course on how to pour the perfect pint of Guinness. However, his attempts left the Duchess in stitches. After the Prince of Wales took a sip of the stout he had pulled for himself, Camilla was spotted lovingly telling him he had some froth on his nose. The pair then watched together dancers performing traditional dances and unveiled a plaque marking their passage. In the afternoon, the Prince of Wales and Camilla returned to Clarence House to hold an audience with Canada's Governor-General, Mary Simon, and her husband Whit Fraser. Ms. Simon and her husband also met the Queen at Windsor Castle. The royal editor, Rebecca English, also spoke about Camilla's health concerns. She tweeted, She has been coughing a bit on recent engagements, I've noticed, and has said several times that she is struggling to entirely shake it off. Camilla mentioned she was experiencing lingering COVID symptoms during a meeting she hosted at Clarence House to mark International Women's Day. While meeting record-breaking rowers Kat Cordina, Abby Johnston, and Charlotte Irving, the Duchess mentioned her health. She said, it's taken three weeks and still can't get shot of it. Probably my voice might suddenly go and I might start coughing and spluttering. News the Duchess will not head to Cheltenham sparked a wave of support among royal fans, with one, Toria, writing on Twitter, hope she makes a full recovery. Another, Eliza, said, sending well wishes to Camilla X. It's a huge year ahead they all need to take it easy, pace themselves and spread the workload. It's no secret that the royal family are good at gifting, but it turns out a thoughtful gift from Camilla to daughter-in-law Kate Middleton shortly after her wedding was even more sentimental than we thought. The Duchess of Cornwall gave Kate a personalized gold bracelet back in 2011, shortly after she tied the knot with Prince William at London's Westminster Abbey on April 29. A gold bracelet is an amazing gift no matter which way you look at it, but this particular chain link bracelet features one single charm with engravings on either side. Each side of the little disc features a monogram, both Kate's and Camilla's, as a way of welcoming the now senior royal into the family. Both sides are said to have the letter C engraved, one for Catherine, which is Kate's full moniker, with a coronet, while the other side has another C for Camilla, along with a crown as is reported. It would appear that Kate is pleased with the thoughtful gift, as she has been seen wearing it on a number of occasions, including once at Wimbledon in 2011 and again during the Santa Barbara Polo match as part of her official royal tour California with the Duke of Cambridge.